Good morning. This is Mark Soderberg with ADM Investor Services with your early morning grain outlook for Tuesday, September the 26th. Uh, a mixed trade here overnight. Corn uh, currently down one to two, uh, higher in the beans, higher in the wheat. Uh, in, be in the products, we do have uh, meal up a touch, oil down a little bit. We did see the November bean contract pierce its 100-day moving average resistance overnight at 13.05 and a half before pulling back here a touch. Uh, yesterday, speculative traders, there were just modest buyers across the board, with the exception uh, of bean oil, where they were sellers of roughly 7,500 contracts. Uh, that reduced their long position now. We've got it at about 36,000. Uh, crop conditions after the close yesterday. Corn ratings uh, actually improved 2% to 53%, good to excellent. Expectations there were for conditions to hold steady, uh, perhaps even decline a touch. Uh, the crop condition index uh, recovered to 78.8. Uh, that is now uh, slightly above a year ago. We've got corn yields uh, uh, at roughly 173.6 bushels an acre, production at 15 billion. Uh, 121, and that's just below the uh, August USD or September USDA forecast uh, of 15 billion 134. 70% uh, of the corn crop is mature versus 55% year ago, and the five-year average uh, of 60%. Harvest advanced uh, to 15%, slightly below expectations. However, that's just above uh, both year ago and the five-year average. Uh, soybean conditions fell 2% in good to excellent to 50%, uh, in line with expectations, perhaps a touch more of a drop than, than expected. The crop condition index fell to uh, its lowest level of the year, uh, and it's now at the lowest level for September, uh, for late September since 2012. Uh, we still got bean yields slightly above the USDA at 50.2 bushels an acre and production at 4.159 billion. Uh, that's still up about 13 million from the USDA number in September. 73% of the crop is dropping leaves uh, ahead of the 60% pace from year ago and the five-year average of 62%. Harvest has reached 12% uh, in line with expectations. Spring wheat harvest uh, has reached 96%, while winter wheat plantings, uh, they have reached 26%. Now that is uh, slightly below uh, its historical averages. Uh, for Friday's USDA reports, we've got corn ending stocks uh, uh, down 22 million from the USDA number in, in September, 1.430 billion. And that's also just a touch below the average trade guess. Uh, we've got bean stocks falling 10 million to 240 uh, in line with expectations. Uh, we look for the USDA to actually raise their wheat production forecast. We've got it up 9 million bushels to 1.734. Uh, that's due to slightly higher winter wheat production. Uh, the average guess is uh, coming in very close to unchanged. Uh, fun fact here, the USDA has uh, lowered their winter wheat production forecast in September now for the, uh, the past six years. Uh, and they've lowered it 18 times out of the last 23 years since uh, 2000. So going against the trend there a little bit, looking for a bit of an increase there. Uh, we'll see if we get any further uh, export announcements uh, today after yesterday's big corn sale to Mexico. Otherwise, we've got some scattered showers in and around the Great Lakes region uh, and parts of the eastern Corn Belt the next few days. That'll slow harvest operations. Uh, harvest will continue to pick up in the western Corn Belt in coming days following a wet weekend. Uh, some disagreement on weather models in South America with the European bringing better prospects for rain in central Brazil uh, while the GFS uh, stays dry. We're still in the very early stages of plantings down there uh, with bean plantings coming in right now about 2%. Uh, so far, uh, the threat of lower production of wheat in Europe, Australia, Argentina, Canada uh, really have not been able to provide much of a boost uh, yet to wheat prices as Russia continues to offer wheat at historically uh, low levels compared to everybody else. So uh, thank you for listening, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful day.